Hi, my name is Diana de Souza, and today we'll be going over Chapter 7 of Super Connected by Mary Chaco, which is friending, dating, and relating. Actually, Mary Chaco was my professor freshman year for one of my burn seminars, um, Twitter and the social media, so that I learned actually this information, and I think it's very useful. I used it all through my freshman and through my career through university. So essentially, technology is integrated into our daily lives. When is the last time that we ever went on a coffee date and actually talked to someone instead of looking at our phone while talking to them? And basically, those relationships of talking on the phone while being with someone present is essentially the same thing as someone being right in front of us. Social media has allowed us to really integrate our lives into a way that we are able to connect with someone across the ocean instantaneously, basically. I message my family that live in Portugal. I message people that I've never met even before. There's a way of interconnectivity between people, and I think that's amazing. So essentially, Mary Chaco talks about the digital relationships that are built in three facets. She talks about friend, family, um, and then even just strangers. Friends you just message them you never some of them you never even meet i've had friends on facebook that i've talked to but never met and still that connection that you've built with them online is essentially the same as someone that you've known since high school and you've spent majority of your days with them so i think that that relationship that you build with that person it's very close and niched and not really you know someone interfering and that's what mary chaco saying that those relationships online don't have an externality being interfered into that situation because you are direct messaging that person and that way everything is listed and someone else doesn't really see that conversation so you're able to really have a deep connection with this person and it's just amazing how we see this and we think that oh technology is just taking over but essentially it's just keeping us more connected with one another I have friends that are across in college and I haven't seen them in years but yet I know how they're doing because they post daily they post pictures of their tailgate they post pictures of you know family events and I think that's what you know gives you the sense of oh I know how my friends are doing I don't have to be connecting with them 24 7 and even if you message them here and there that connection when you see them physically you can still continue the conversation saying oh I saw you online how are you like how was this event how's school that just gives you an open door into talking about more possibilities and I think that social media is really the way to go because it is the new normal and people might think it's very negative because of the harassment the trolling the creeping of people just really digging into your life more than they should really do um, but however, I think that it's something that's irreplaceable, especially since uh, Mary Chaco does explain in the chapter that her, how do I explain it? The reason that these relationships are so deeply like created is because you're essentially putting your 100% since something is not distracting you. Once you're online, it's like you're a different person. However, you're still your person, if that makes sense. Um, I do believe that Many individuals do have the tendency to use too much social media that is not required. Like being in class and being online is not really how you should really connect with others. However, there is a limit on, yes, you should connect with others, network with others. Like LinkedIn, it's a very professional social media platform that you're able to talk to people. However, there are other social media platforms like dating websites that open doors for individuals that are looking for a relationship as opposed to just a connection and a friendship. Also, um, there's a, a section in that chapter that speaks about the deceased. And I think that it's very interesting to see how Chaco explains that online you have a sense of connectivity with the deceased because you show pictures and you like reminisce about those memories. And you basically tell everyone, oh, this person and these memories are what are keeping me alive and what has their spirit still alive. So essentially, personally, my father passed away my freshman year of high of college, actually. And Mary Chaco, you know, she was my professor and she really did help me. She was there as counselor helping me through the semester. And also, I felt that me posting pictures online about my father and reminiscing over just memories that I had with him just kept his 
um, soul alive. So essentially, it was like I was just talking about him being with me without him being physically with me. And I think that social media does open that door. And also, even for horrendous situations, go fund me. Um, it's an amazing platform. People can contribute to causes that really touch them emotionally. I have friends that have, have gone through some severe traumas in their life. And I think that their story online and connecting it with others and sharing it and reposting it really allows the community that you never even met to connect together and really just show that they care for you and they're there for you. And I think social media, if you have that physically in a town, it's very niche and it's not as sincere as someone that's across the country has never met you and they still feel that connection and still have that um, feeling with you. Like someone that, like let's just say in my situation, if another person felt the pain that I felt, obviously when my father passed away, it's a different connection because not everyone has experienced it. So I think social media brings those people together that have that connectivity of different commonalities and just let it like basically flourish. Um, So overall, I believe that social media is just something that for any friending or dating or even relating just to commonalities and just being able to talk to someone is really amazing and to open doors to just different new connections like talking to people overseas, talking to people that you've never even would probably have never met or are going to meet ever in your lifetime but just having that like that feeling of knowing that someone knows about you and cares about you it's something that human nature needs and I think that social media essentially fulfills that need to its extreme intent there's also negative things about social media however too much of a good thing is also a bad thing so I think if we control the social media limitations that we use on a daily basis I think that social media can really be a great beneficial tool for all of us thank you so much